the left wing journalist Elon Musk suspended from Twitter got what they deserve. And um, I don't know why they think they can like dox people and put people in harm's way and think it's okay. But then you got some left wing journalists that end up getting doxxed and then they complaining about it. So you can't have it both ways. They're so hypocritical. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon where I talk about things um, that I can't talk about here. And there's also a link to my Instagram where I put out even more news. Um, and also, check out my um, my shop. The link for that is also in, um, in the link tree where I have um, I Will Not Comply t-shirts. So check that out as well. All right, let's talk about this news. Elon Musk on Thursday evening temporarily suspended the Twitter accounts of a handful of high-profile journalists who shared real-time location data about him. Good, I think. You know what I'm saying? Musk was right to suspend these accounts. I'm glad it happened, and I hope it keeps happening. Because, I mean, they're, they're throwing safety to the wind when it comes to someone. I can't, I, I, I can't even say that Elon is really conservative. He's not, but... Um, someone that, that dare to challenge them, they're going to put them in harm's way. It's just, it's ridiculous. And and then again, if we were to do that to them, they would cry foul. Um, and um, I have no illusion that Musk is, is some savior for conservatives, like I was uh, uh, alluding to, or that under his watch, Twitter will become a haven for free speech. But I do think it's about time that leftist corporate media got a taste of their own medicine. In part so their hypocrisy uh, uh, um, and, and craving power grubbing it can be exposed to a, a, a watching world. And boy, are they obliging. On Friday morning, nearly every corporate media outlet led with breathless stories. Uh, unprecedented, Axios called it. Lamenting that um, Musk was attacking, quote, journalists who have criticized him and pretending that what they were engaged in didn't count as doxing, as if this is about uh, a freedom of the press and, and not ensuring the safety of Musk's family or anyone else who might be targeted in real life by radical left-wing ideolo ideologues. We know they've done this before. They dox, they dox people before. Um, and, and so what's the point of doxing if it's not... You know, what exactly is the point of doxing if, if, if you don't have anything nefarious um, planned for that? Um, and, and make no mistake, that's exactly what these suspended journalists are. are, are. Their uh, ranks include former Vox journalist Aaron Ruper, CNN reporter Donnie O'Sullivan, New York Times reporter Ryan Mack, Washington Post reporter Drew Harwell, The Intercepts, uh, uh, Micah Lee, and the absolutely ridiculous clown Keith Olbermann. I can't stand Keith Olbermann. Um, but being part, being a member of the corporate media doesn't give you a, a, a special privilege to target people. And that's exactly what it is. They're targeting. As Musk said to a group of journalists in a Twitter space chat, he crashed on Thursday night. You're not special because you're journalists. He, um, um, there can be only one reason to promote or retweet real-time location information about a person or their family. You hope something bad happens to them. I mean, what other reason could there be? You hope someone acts on it. In this case, these reporters were amplifying a Twitter account that was posting location data about Musk's private jet. And doing so on the heels of a, a disturbing incident in Los Angeles involving a stalker targeting a car that was carrying Musk's toddler and son. I mean, that, that's enough to make someone want to whoop someone's butt. You know what I'm saying? You don't put someone child in, in harm's way like that. It's ridiculous. In other words, the media elite... Rise and oops, shine excuse time. me. Um, in other words, my, my alarm was going off. In other words, the uh, media elite, who for years absurdly claimed that speech is violence, actually engaged in the promotion of violence and got caught doing it. And we're supposed to feel, we're supposed to feel bad for them? I don't think so. Media leftists who for years had demanded online censorship of conservatives don't care at all about free speech and in fact actively work to quash it however they can are suddenly alarmed at must silencing their own. I mean, think about how quiet they were um, on, I'm going to call it the old Twitter 
when when um conservatives was getting booted from the platform um it, it all started off with alex jones um one of my favorite sh uh, one of my favorite uh news uh, uh um shows true news was a christian um founded uh, uh um a uh, news organization they were banned from twitter they were one of the first ones as well to be banned from twitter there was nothing about that they, they weren't worried about free speech when it came to that but now all of a sudden they get kicked off the platform and mind you it's a short suspension i think it's only for about a week they get suspended from twitter and now they're crying for what about free speech these people are hypocrites to quote senator tom cotton's recent remark to the woke CEO of Kroger, a company that fired Christian employees for not endorsing the grocery chain's LGBT advocacy, but now wants Republican help with the pro with the proposed merger. And I did a whole I did a whole uh, uh, video on that. But he said, uh, "quote I'm sorry that's happening to you. Best of luck." <laughs> and I and big up Tom Cotton for that. That was I, I love I love that. Um, I could watch that video over and over when he did when he said that. Uh, to Kroger, um, but corporate media didn't care when the woman behind libs of TikTok was docked by the Washington Post, Taylor Lawrence. In fact, they defended it, calling it "quote accountability." They didn't care when uh, pre-must Twitter shadow banned prominent conservative accounts like the Federalist uh, CEO Sean Davis or locked accounts um, of, of other people's uh, uh, for pushing pushing back against trans ideology they thought it was justified they cheered it on the uh, recent reporting on twitter files exposed the blunt truth behind the banning of former president donald trump it wasn't because he violated twitter's rules but because the leftists who were running twitter hated him i mean the, the stuff they were doing is, is so anti uh free speech is ridiculous and then when they get suspended for docs for being uh, uh uh for 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 doxing people, oh 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 my gosh, free speech. What about the First Amendment? Like Twitter's uh, erstwhile left wing censors, elite reporters at corporate media outlets grew accustomed to thinking of Twitter as their own personal possession, a platform for people like them, left wing woke, espousing all the right opinions and denouncing all the supposedly fascist, bigoted, ignorant opinions of conservatives. Twitter was a tool that enhanced their power and influence, nothing more. They care as much for free speech as an um, open public square as they do about reporting the truth. That's why places like, uh, that's why uh, publications like the Washington Post are lo losing subscribers. Uh, they lost like 500,000 subscribers. I reported on that um, as well. As George Orwell once wrote, quote, in a time of universal deceit, telling the truth is a revolutionary act. I love that quote. By suspending these accounts, Musk is telling us the truth about the media. They are hypocrites and liars who care only about power and will do anything to cling to it. And we're seeing it now. They're a cancer on our civic life, and I hope they're suspended indefinitely because it's ridiculous. But let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And check out democrepublics.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace. Oh,